Name like Matsonberg, you'd have to be a Queenslander, wouldn't you? Yes, I am. I'm a Queenslander. I was, I was brought up in Pomona. You know, those of you know Pomona? Yeah. And then when I was about eight, we moved down to Brisbane. My father was a policeman, and so he uh, refused transfers and so on so that I could be brought up, my brother and sister, in uh, Brisbane. We went to the Kedron Church of Christ as I was growing up. And then after uh, I went to Bible College, I, I trained at Kenmore College. Uh, then Dad started to accept uh, transfers and he went out to Dolby. And I uh, was a, a senior sergeant at Dolby before his retirement and shortly after his own death. Um, so that's my background. I'm a Queenslander, yeah. Jeanette, my wife, is from Indonesia. We met in Bible College and she went back to Indonesia when she finished studies. I wrote letters, wore her down, <laughs> <laughs> went, went over to Indonesia, met her parents, married her and then brought her back to Australia with me. And your children? We have three children, uh, two daughters and a son. Uh, one, they're all adults now, the son is uh, going to be 34 at the end of this year. And the oldest one is 39. Uh, the oldest one is in Air Force, living in Adelaide. Um, second one. Uh, lives two doors up from us. She's uh, uh, married, separated with two two children, so we see lots of them. And the son is in Sydney, and we hear very little from him because, you know, in Sydney, away from the parents. Of course. <laughs> and why the army? What was in, in the army that attracted you? When I was 18 years of old, long, long time ago. Um, I decided at that stage, or I thought at that stage, that I wanted to get into Air Force as a pilot. Mm -hmm. So I went to all of the tests and so on, got selected, but was failed on my medical. But at those days I didn't wear glasses, but they told me I had slight short-sightedness. So I, I went away all disappointed. And then when, we were in, uh, when I was in Toowoomba, uh, Church of Christ at Crown Street, there was a fellow at Harlingston who was an army chaplain, Rod Tippett his name was, and uh, Rod um, got very, very friendly with me and um, sort of real, made me realise that getting into army would make the circle turn back to what God really wanted me to do. So when he retired, um, I applied, but it was uh, five years later. They kept telling those no vacancies, no vacancies, because in those days we were only allowed to have one Church of Christ uh, chaplain. Only and one? Only one for what churches. Is that in Australia? One for churches of Christ in the whole of Australia in those days. Okay. We've got many, many more than that these mm. now. Mm. So he, he got me to apply, but there were no vacancies because he was not yet retiring. Mm. But then he, he was uh, close to retirement and uh, out of the blue one day, up at Maroochydore, uh, where I was at that stage, I got a phone call <laughs> saying, um, we want to come up and talk to you about coming into chaplaincy fellow from Brisbane came up and said, we don't want to push you for a decision, but we need an answer in two days' time. <laughs> and I just said, well, no, we believe this was an answer to prayer, so he said yes straight away. Mm. And that was in 1987, in March, and I retired officially from Army in May this year. Mm. Uh, um, we retired from full-time in 2010. Mm. Um, the last four years of that I was principal chaplain for Army, so administrative oversight of all of Army chaplains. Uh, there's about 75 full-time chaplains and maybe 150 part-time. This is throughout Australia? Throughout Australia, yes. But then when I retired from full-time, I stayed on the principal chaplains committee um, in a part-time capacity and was principal chaplain for Army's Protestant denominations. And that's when I had sort of oversight of flu. But um, I retired officially uh, in the 23rd of May this year. So, so I'm a free man. You're free man. But it's still in, ingrained in my blood. I still think like army people think, and I still have a, I still have a very um, strong interdenominational focus because it was a great time of Christian fellowship with chaplains who, regardless of denomination, were of like mind. Yeah. Isn't the army principal with the moves you saluted if it wasn't to paint? <laughs> yeah. so that was one of the advantages of yeah. uh, of getting higher and promotion. You know, I had to have, I had to do the, the 
the first salute to less and less people. I only had to respond to whoever yeah. saluted me. You got more than they did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. That's the way to go. But no, yeah. that, but I don't want to be remembered as only as having been principal chaplain no. army. I want to be remembered as a minister of the minister of the church, minister of uh, of the gospel. Mm. And at a, for a large time of my life, God had me working in army. But yeah. that's not my identity. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. Okay, Thanks thank you. And, um, yeah, you'll get more punishment in a little while. Yes, later we'll hear from you as you expand thank the you. word to us, so thank you.